Hey guys, welcome to Good News News and we are back for another week. I want to start off by saying that you guys have been really rocking. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for following. Thank you guys for sending your family and friends for following. We really do appreciate it. Now, let's get started. Alright, so next Sunday is Father's Day. So, what we are asking each person to submit a 15 second video clip of your tribute to your father. Now look, we're not gonna ask and beg and send out reminders. We want you to take the opportunity to email your 15, what did I say? 15, 15 seconds. Sec not minutes. No. Not hours. No. 15, 15 seconds. 15 second clip of your tribute to your father. Email it to goodnewsnews16 at gmail.com. Goodnewsnews16 at gmail.com. Don't forget, we are still looking for those submissions mm -hmm. for you to honor that one or two lucky father. So we are still looking for you guys to submit your um, nominations. Yes. So who you want to crown the father of 2020. And when you send your nomination, give us a little blurb yes. or a reason why you have nominated this yes. person so that we can also appreciate why this person should be crowned yes. father of the year. We're not looking, we need, we need some stories. Yes. Okay. Not we words, don't need, not we don't name. need just, um, Robert Thorpe. Right. What about him? <laughs> okay. Just put it out there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, so if you haven't noticed or don't know about it, you should know if you've been following us. But Facebook has a quarantine revival, mm -hmm. and they have do they are now doing their second round, which has been absolutely amazing. So please, if you have the time, go to your Facebook page, look for us, and look Sorry. for the, the quarantine revival that is going on. There are different speakers, different pastors from all over the place. So please take the time to look into our quarantine revival. Um, I forgot who was hosted by. It's really on the top of my head. I can't think of his name. I don't know. Me either. However, if you go to our page, <laughs> you'll see all the information. So, these last couple of weeks have been very emotional. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have gone to two virtual funerals yes. for George Floyd. Mm -hmm. Um, and just the unrest and I watched the documentary 13th. Oh my goodness. I watched it. That's, I meant to text Ooh. you. You had me watch that for what reason? Why? Explain because, to me why you me to Because we watch need that. to know what's going on in this country. So a lot has been going on. If you have not seen it, watch 13th. It's a watch great it documentary. with someone. Because like me, I watched it by myself. I just became angry yeah, all yeah. Over again. Yes, I do admit that it was a good it documentary. Good. So in your downtime, please take the time to look at thirteen. There's a lot of questions I have. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, there's a good conversation piece. Mm -hmm. um, it it goes very far. Um, it makes you realize a couple of things. So, but don't watch it by yourself. Right. So <laughs> with all that is going on. I think it's time for us to have some prayer. Mm -hmm. I think it's time for. I mean, the great thing about it is that. All of the rioting have stopped. Mm -hmm. That is just what it was from the beginning. Peaceful protests yes. around the world. Mm -hmm. And now Emmanuel Temple wants to join in with a prayer vigil today at 730. Today at 730, church will have a prayer vigil. Please come out as we come together and fellowship and pray for this country, yes. pray for this church. Um, pray for everything that is going on. So Religious Liberty is having a prayer vigil tonight at 730. Please remember to wear your mask and we are going to be following social distancing. So please remember that. But we want you to come out and participate in this prayer vigil. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, do not forget, we need to see you today in the church parking lot at 2 o'clock. 
for the graduation. I am so excited. I hope the graduates are excited mm -hmm. that we are able to recognize them and we are able to clap and applaud them um, for their accomplishments on their degrees, their yes. high school graduation, middle school graduation, elementary, whatever you graduated from. We want to be here to support you and congratulate you on this accomplishment. So I need you here at two. All graduates, attention, all graduates, I need you here no later than 145. Right. What I say? 145. For which one? For the graduates. And what time for the audience? Two o'clock. Don't come here at 130. Don't come here at 145. Don't do it. Don't do it. Two now, o'clock. If you are one to be late and you arrive at 225, you're going to miss it. Yeah, it's going to be over. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be over because it's not going to yeah. be very long. And we're going to see you walk in because right. we're going to be facing the same way that you be. So don't be late. Yes, please don't Two be late. Two o'clock. Okay. Now, what we also want you to do mm -hmm. is make sure you're following us on social media. Yes. Because we're going live. We're going to have the graduates being announced yes. live. So if you can't see because you got here a little after two mm -hmm. and your spot was taken, mm -hmm. you can look at it on your cell phone on Facebook Live mm -hmm. at Good News News mm -hmm. and you will be able to see also. If you miss it because you don't feel comfortable coming out or that you had something else to do, yes. you can always see it again on our Facebook mm -hmm. channel. So don't forget to watch Bring, share, tag, and invite yes. so everybody can see the graduates mm -hmm. of Emmanuel Temple. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. That is it for the announcements today. Have a happy, happy Sabbath. We will see you back at Emmanuel Temple at 2 o'clock. And don't forget the prayer vigil at 730. 730. Thanks, and have a wonderful Sabbath. Bye. Yeah.